Hey there, welcome to LC Yoga. My name is Laura and today we'll get into the joy body. Negative emotions like sadness, stress, depression tend to affect the physical body by tensing up the hips, the shoulders, the front body. So today we're gonna to reverse that. We're gonna open up the physical body so that we can positively affect our emotions. So if you're ready, get on your mat and I'll meet you there. We'll begin today in mountain pose at the top of the mat. So step to the front of the mat, feet about hip distance apart, and spread the shoulders wide. Spine is long, crown of the head reaching up toward the sky. Hands are sort of facing forward and that helps you open the shoulders. Press down into the feet, maybe bending the knees just for a second and press down and then lift the crown of the head up and away from that. Chest up to the sky. Close the eyes if it doesn't mess with your balance. If it does, look down the nose at the floor out in front of you. Drawing the abdomen in toward the spine, you're in an active mountain pose, standing strong. Now just starting to deepen the breath. And we're just arriving. Just taking our place on the mat. And as you breathe, let the back get broad. Keep opening the shoulders, turn the shoulders out, maybe even rotating the arms outward. Now bring the hands into prayer in front of the heart. Bow the head slightly. Maybe even bring the thumbs to the third eye, the center of the forehead. And that gentle pressure. Just relax the brain. Let thoughts release. They're just here and now. There's nowhere to go and nothing to do other than this right here. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then let it out through an open mouth. And with that, will start to flow. So let the hands come down by the sides. As you inhale, sweep the arms out and up and reach up toward the sky. Get long, reach, reach, reach. Let the palms come together, bend the knees and the elbows and start to fold forward. Slow, slow, slow. Let all the air out. Knees are bent deeply. As you inhale, come about halfway up, fingertips on the ground, our hands on the shin. Plant the hands into the ground and then step one foot back and then the other into a plank pose. Lower the knees and lower all the way to the ground. Inhale, press the hands and all 10 toes and lift up into a cobra. Hips are pressing down. Then curl the toes under, come back up onto the knees, lift the knees, hips up, downward dog. And you're in an upside down V shape. And we're just getting started, so bend into the knees if you need to. Maybe straightening one knee and then the other. Just take that dog for a walk. Deep breaths into the backs of the legs and the shoulders. Maybe press the chest through the shoulders. 
maybe rocking back and forth side to side. Now come back to center. Deep breath in and let it all out. On your next inhale, step forward to the front of the mat in between the hands. Come halfway up and then as you exhale, fold. Bend into the knees and as you inhale, stand up, reach up, sweep the arms out and up. Palms come together and now bring the palms back in front of the heart as you exhale. Close the eyes. And we're just doing as the ancient yogis did, saluting the sun to warm the body. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let the hands come down by the sides. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, reach up. Palms together, bend the knees, bend the elbows and fold. Exhale. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into a plank, lower the knees and lower all the way to the ground. Inhale, press the toes, press the hands, cobra. Curl the toes under, lift the hips. Exhale, down dog. Take three deep breaths in downward dog. Maybe come up onto the tippy toes. And then as you exhale, press the heels. Knees can be bent. Just move around as you need or stay still. Your choice. One more big breath here. And then as you inhale, step to the front of the mat. Lift halfway up as you inhale. Exhaling, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep the arms up, stand up. And exhale, come back to center, hands in prayer in front of the heart, close the eyes. And the beautiful thing about yoga is you can already start to feel a shift. Deep breath in here and let it out as the hands come down by the sides. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. One more sun salutation. Exhaling, fold it in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank. Lower the knees and lower all the way down. Inhale, press into the ground with the fingertips. Cobra. Exhaling, curl the toes under, lift the hips, downward dog. Big breaths. Let it broaden the back. And with each breath, let something release. Backs of the legs. Tension in the belly. Strain in the shoulders. And then on your next inhale, step back to the front of the mat. Lift halfway up, long spine. Exhaling, bow. Inhale, sweep the arms up, stand up. Palms together, exhaling back to center, close the eyes. Pressing into the ground with all four corners of the feet. Shoulders away from the ears. Now this time, open the eyes. We're gonna swing the arms out and up. Bend the knees, fold it forward. And we're gonna hang out here. So press into the ground with the feet, lift the sit bones up and away from that. Now you can have the knees deeply bent here, whatever it takes to get the top of your pelvis bone to your thighs. You want that pelvis tilted forward. 
so your back's not rounded. Now if that's no good, you may want to come up a little higher, hands on the shins, or even resting the elbows on the knees. Breathe deep, and with each breath, let the sit bones tilt up toward the sky a little bit more. You can keep your fingertips on the ground or on your legs, or maybe grab opposite elbows and just dangle. Back is broad. Backs of the legs are getting wider. The muscles get longer. We'll bring your fingertips to the floor, lift halfway up. This time as we plant the hands, we're gonna step right back into a downward dog. Now on your next inhale, lift your right leg up toward the sky and then bend the knee and stack the hip. So open the hip up toward the right so your heel of the bent leg is near your left hip. So open it up. We'll do a few hip modulus here, which is a circular motion of the leg, right? So inhale, draw the knee in toward the chest. And then as you exhale, the knee goes out toward the right and up toward the sky. Two more times like that. Inhaling, drawing the knee in toward the chest. Exhale it out toward the right and up toward the sky. Inhale, draw it in. And exhale out and up. Ending with your knee up toward the sky. Deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, draw the knee in toward the chest and then step the foot all the way through into a lunge and lower the back knee down. Inhale and come on up into Anjani Asana, low lunge. Arms can be up toward the sky or maybe hands are on the front thigh. But either way, we're pressing the left hip forward. So we're getting a nice stretch in the front of the left leg and the lower abdominals. Use your front foot as a break and let it let it let the hips drop a little bit or come up out of it if it feels like it's too much. But pressing the hips forward will keep the back from crunching. Shoulders are away from the ears. Get a deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, come forward, left hand down, right arm goes up toward the sky. Let the hips get heavy, let them drop down. And your left shoulder is away from the ear as you're pressing into the ground with that hand. Reach it up. Open the chest. And then swim that hand forward, shift the hips back, and come into half split. So your toes go up toward the sky, knee can be bent, and you're pulling your hip back and away from your planted right heel. So that's how you're working on increasing the stretch, not necessarily trying to get the nose toward the shin. You want your top of the head going toward the front of the mat. Deep, slow breaths. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, just let something go. Now lean forward, bringing the weight back into the front foot, plant the hands, and step back to down dog. And we'll take that flow to the other side. So inhaling, lift the left leg up toward the sky, bend the knee and stack the hip. So your left heel now is near your right hip. Press your left shoulder toward the ground. 
So your shoulders stay square toward the ground. And then as you inhale, draw the knee in toward the chest, exhaling it out toward the left and up toward the sky. Drawing it in, letting it go out toward the left and up. One more time, inhaling it in, exhaling out and up. This time as you inhale, draw the knee in and then step all the way into a lunge and lower the back knee. Come on up, pressing the hands into the front thigh or lifting the arms up high to the sky. This time we're pressing the right hip forward. So we're getting a really nice stretch here. Hands can be wherever you want to put them. They can be on the hips. They can be in prayer. Sweep them up, leave them on the front thigh. Maybe even cactus arms if you want a little extra shoulder release. Breathing into the hips, into the shoulders. Deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, come on forward, right hand down this time, left hand up. Drop the hips. Now if this arm up doesn't feel good, you might want to bend the elbow and bring the hand behind the head. So we use that to support the neck. You'll still get that opening in the chest and shoulder. A couple more breaths here. And then swim that hand forward, shift the hips back, left toes up toward the sky, and you're in half split on this side. So again, starting with a bent knee. Inhale, get long, so reach the crown of the head away from the hips. And then as you exhale, pull the hip back from the heel. It's planted out in front of you. So crown of the head going forward, hips going back. Knee is as bent as it needs to be. Two deep breaths. And then we'll lean forward, plant the hands, and step on back, downward dog, hips high, up toward the sky. Now this time, as you inhale, lift the right leg up toward the sky, and step forward into a lunge, leave the back knee off the ground, plant the left heel, and come on up into a warrior one. So here in warrior one, your back foot is about in a 45 degree angle. Whatever feels good on the ankle. And lift the chest up toward the sky. So your back foot and your chest are reaching away from each other. And bring the palms together, bring the hands in prayer in front of the heart. And draw your arms into eagle arms so your right arm goes over top of the left and then wrap the palms if they'll wrap if not maybe just touching the backs of the hands eagle arms and then as you inhale sweep the arms up high up overhead open the shoulders now you can stay here or we're going to do a bit of a flow with breath so inhaling arching it up and then exhaling, bowing forward toward the front leg. Inhaling, sweeping it up. And exhaling, bow. Inhaling, reach it up. And exhale. This time, come all the way up. And then wherever you are, open the arms and turn toward the left and open it up into a warrior two, arms floating out into a T-shape. 
And a few breaths here in Warrior Two. So let your right knee go out toward the right and the thighs are pressing away from each other. Shoulders away from the ears and let the fingertips reach out. Get long through all of your endpoints. And then we'll get out of that front leg. So start to straighten it and then tilt the pelvis toward the front of the mat. Knee can be bent. Bring the hand to the shin, the foot or the floor. And as you open up toward the left, reach up high, triangle pose. You want your side waist nice and flat. No rounding. So we don't want to tweak the spine here. So bend the knee to make that happen. Now here we'll do this with a bit of a flow as well. So inhale here, reach up. And exhale, turn toward your front foot. And just sort of bring the hands together. And then inhale, open it up. Like, open your arms like wings. Exhale, turn, come on down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, come down. Last time, as, this time as you inhale and come up, stay there. And then bend into the front knee and come back to warrior two. And coming forward, plant the hands. And as you exhale, stepping back, downward dog. Inhale the left leg up this time. Exhaling, step it forward into a lunge. Lower the back heel to the earth and come on up, warrior one. Find your strong warrior stance. Chest reaching away from back foot. And then we'll sweep the arms into eagle arms. This time, right arm under, left arm over. Wrapping the palms if they'll wrap and then inhale it, start to arch back, lifting the elbows up high. Now you can hang out there or come with me. Inhale here and then exhale, bow. Inhale, reach it up and exhale. Inhale, come on up. Exhaling, bow. This time, come on up and stay up. Reach the elbows up high. And then open up into warrior two, turning toward the right. Looking forward over your left fingertips. Breathing into the legs, strong warrior legs. And then come on out of that front leg, shifting the hips back toward the back of the mat as the knee starts to straighten, doesn't have to straighten. Hand to the shin, the foot, or the floor, and then open up, reach the right hand up toward the sky, triangle pose. Take a deep breath in here, and then exhale, fold it in. Inhale, open up, open the arms like wings. And exhale, bring them together. Inhale, open up. Exhale, come down. This time, open up, stay up. And then bend into the left knee and come back to warrior two. Plant the hands by the front foot and step back, down dog. Now inhale the right foot up high to the sky. Exhaling, step it forward into a lunge, lower the back knee. Press the hands into the front thigh and come back into low lunge. Inhale the arms into cactus arms. So reach the chest out and up. Deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, push forward. Just push all negative thoughts out and away. And then inhale, come back to the first position, arms and cactus arms. And then exhale, push it away. 
Inhale, pull in all good things. And exhale, what you don't need. This time, sweep the arms up high to the sky. Press the hips down and forward. And then bring the hands by the front foot. Step back, down dog. Inhale, the left foot up. Exhale, step it. Back knee lowers and come on up. Inhale those cactus arms again. And exhale, push it forward. Bring everything good toward you. And everything you don't want, push it away. Exhale. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, get rid of it. This time, sweep the arms out and up. Bring the hands to the floor and step it back, downward dog. Now this time, lower the knees to the floor, sit back on the heels, bring the backs of the hands to the knees or the thighs and close the eyes. Now slowly open the eyes, curl the toes under, and come stand up on the knees. Inhaling, sweep the arms out and up, and then sweep the arms into eagle arms, left arm under, right arm over. Lift the elbows up and away, the hands away from the face. Step the left foot forward into a lunge. Lift the back knee up off the ground and shift the weight forward and wrap your right leg around your left, eagle pose. Now, if that doesn't work, feel free to just bend the knees and rest the toe on the ground. Lift the hands up and away from the face and sit down. Deep breaths. And then unravel and bring your right foot to the inside of the left leg for tree pose. Now your foot can be on the ankle, the knee, or all the way up in the thigh, and bring your hands into prayer. Find a drishti, a gaze point out in front of you to help with balance. And breathe. Maybe the hands float up and bring the palms together overhead. Now wherever you are, bring the hands in front of the heart, draw the knee into the chest, and step back into a high lunge. Reach the arms up high. Sweet, ecstatic high lunge. And then bring the hands down by the front foot, step back, downward dog. Lower the knees to the ground and sit back on the heels, curled, toes curled under. And then stand up on the knees. Inhaling, sweep the arms out and up. This time, right arm under, left arm over. Reach the arms up and away from the face. Step the right foot forward into a lunge. Lift the back knee, shift the weight forward, and come all the way into eagle pose. Finding your own eagle pose as the arms reach up and away from the face, and you sit back, sit down. Drishti helps with balance, but if you fall out, come right back in. Now release that, draw the knee in, and draw the foot in, and find your tree pose. Hands in prayer in front of the heart, or reach them out and up overhead, palms together. A 
We'll bring the hands in prayer in front of the heart, draw the knee in toward the chest, and then step back, high lunge, sweep it up. Chest away from back foot, press the toes into the ground. And then bring the hands down by the front foot and step it back, down dog. This time as the right foot sweeps up high to the sky, step it forward into a lunge, lower the back knee down. And we're gonna heel toe the foot over toward the left. Pigeon pose. So bring the right knee behind your right hand, but be careful of that knee. And put something underneath it if you need to. Flex into the foot. Pick the back knee up, draw the hips back and then lower down. Find your foot position. If you need it closer in toward the hip, do that. And then starting up high, bring your attention to the hips. Close the eyes. Let your left hip get heavy. So your glute wants to pull you out toward the right. But let the left hip get heavy, sort of turning you toward the ground. Now you can come forward, but continuously press the hips back. Deep breaths, open that hip. We store so much in the hips. So much that we don't need. Now, if you're feeling a little more open, we're gonna add a twist. And that means bringing the right elbow into the arch of the right foot. Hands in prayer, pressing up and away to twist toward the left. Still letting the left hip get heavy. Now, if this doesn't work, stay right where you were, back in pigeon. The only reason to do this is if your body is asking for more, not because you want it. Two more sweet breaths into those hips, letting that right hip get big and broad. Just releasing. Now if you twist it, come back to center wherever you are. Press the fingers and the hands into the ground. Curl the back toes under and step back to your down dog. And we'll take the other side. So inhale, left foot up. Exhaling, step it and lower the back knee. Heel toe the foot over toward the right. Dropping the left knee, being very mindful of it. Give it some padding if it needs it. And then lift the back knee, pull the hips back and lower down. My left side is always tighter than my right, so I've got to give it a little bit of grace, give it a little more time. So close the eyes. Come with me and just pay attention to that hip and start to figure out what does it need. Mine needs me to be still right now. Press the hips back using the hands, and if you go forward, keep doing that. Let the right hip get heavy this time. Kind of squaring the hips toward the ground. And with those closed eyes, just picture the, the tissues and muscles of that hip getting bigger, broader, and just releasing their grip. If you want to come with me into a twist, plant the left elbow into the arch of the left foot, hands in prayer, and then push up and away, twisting toward the right. 
right hip still getting heavy. Let it drop. Couple more breaths here. Big breath. Hips releasing. And then come out of prayer. If you went into the twist, hands down, curl the back toes under, and step it on back to your down dog. Now this time lower the knees to the ground and come and sit back on the heels. Close the eyes, hands, palms turned up toward the sky. And picture that sky up there, even if you can't look up and see it. Just picture it in your mind's eye. Little clouds floating by. Slowly open the eyes, curl the toes under so that you can come stand up on the knees. And we'll take camel pose. So stick your hips out behind you, curl the tailbone, and then come on back up to stand on the knees. And we're doing that so we're tilting our pelvis backward and it keeps the back, the lower back, nice and long so we don't crunch into it. Now hands can be on the hips, on the back, with the fingertips up or down, and just press into the lower back, hips are pressing forward, let your chest go up and away from the back feet, pressing the toes into the ground. And that's your camel pose. If you wanna reach back for the heels, only do that if your body's asking for more, meaning you need more of a front body opener. Pressing the hips forward, Chest is up, maybe the head goes back. Camel pose. No crunching in the back. Just want a nice stretch in the chest and the abs. And then come on back up to stand, sit back on the heels, close the eyes, turn the palms up. And just feel that in the body as the spine neutralizes. And we'll do that one more time. Come stand up on the knees, curling the toes under. Sticking the hips out, curl the tailbone, come on back up. Hands to the lower back, chest high. Find your camel pose. Aiming the curve into the upper spine. And then release, sit back on the heels, hands to the thighs. Close the eyes. And just take in the energy that back bends create. Open the eyes and bring the hands forward just so you can walk the knees forward. Come roll over the feet, sit down, and bring the bottoms of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Fingertips behind, rock the hips so you can tilt the pelvis forward. Now reach your chest toward the front of the mat as you start to tilt. Breathe into the hips, close the eyes. And just let the hips open up. Can 
hands can come forward if your body lets you in. But instead of rounding over your feet, again, keep the chest going straight ahead. That keeps the back nice and flat so we don't strain the muscles back there. Close the eyes, deep breaths, and with each breath, your body will let you in a little more. One more big breath here. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through an open mouth. And walk the hands back up. Before we leave Baddha Konasana, we're going to add a little bit of a twist. So just bring your left hand to your right knee. And then as you inhale, bring your fingertips behind you. Just open the chest, open the shoulders broad as you twist toward the right. And we're looking for a shoulder stretch here. So you're getting a nice stretch in the back of the left shoulder. And then you're opening the right one at the same time. Nice gentle twist. Now release that and we'll switch sides. So bring your right knee to your or your right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind, inhaling, open the chest, get tall, twist toward the left. on back to center. Bring the feet out in front and the hands behind. We'll take a little tabletop to kind of reverse what we just did. Counter stretch. So lift the hips and stretch into the front of the shoulders. And then lower on down. Next pose is Upavishta Konasana or wide legged forward fold. So let the legs go wide, knees can be bent, and you can sit up on something if that helps tilt the pelvis forward. Otherwise, rock the hips again so you can kind of get that forward tilting motion. Bring the fingertips behind and get tall. Start to tilt forward again, bending the knees if needed. Chest is going forward just like in Baddha Konasana. If your body lets you in, maybe the fingertips come forward, but again, keep that chest tall, the back and spine nice and long, and just leaning forward, and you're kind of rolling onto the front of the pelvis. And breathe into the legs. It's not just emotion that gets stuck in those places. It's also just tension from sitting as much as we do. Stretch it out and we reverse that. Now come on back up and we're going to add a side bend here. So bend into the right knee and then bring your elbow to the inside of that knee. Open the arms again like wings. Sweep it up. So you're opening the chest, using your bottom elbow to help turn you up. Now you can start to side bend, and maybe the knee starts to straighten, but as you do that, keep turning up that way, and then drop your left hip so you get a nice stretch in the sideways. Maybe close the eyes. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just feel your way through that. Drop the shoulder away from the ear. And just breathe and get long. Now come on back up and we'll take that to the other side. So bend into the left knee this time, elbow to the inside of the knee. 
sweep the right arm up, opening up, turning up toward the sky, heart goes up. Now as you start to side bend, right hip drops, knee starts to straighten, but we're continuously turning up. Deep breath into the side waist. One more breath. And then come on up. We're going to go toward the front one more time. And we'll be a little bit more open this time. So rock it forward. Fingertips can walk out front. Again, the chest is going forward. If you can come all the way down to the elbows, pull the chest through the shoulders. So it's almost like a sphinx pose. And that's rolling you onto the front of the pelvis opening even more. And then come on up, walking the hands up, draw the knees in. Hips might be a little creaky at this point. And so we're gonna counteract that by doing a little windshield wiping. So let the knees, as your feet are a little wider than hip distance apart, start to windshield wipe the knees back and forth. Just counteracting that outward rotation, we're doing a little inward rotation. And then once you're done doing that, roll down onto your back, draw your knees into your chest. And we'll close with a couple of twists just to balance both body and mind. Twists are great for that. And we're going to do a couple of different versions. So you can cross the legs, maybe wrapping the legs. If that doesn't work, just drop the knees to the right with your knees stacked. Arms open up into a T-shape. And if your knees aren't on the ground, that's okay, as long as it doesn't hurt. If your shoulders aren't on the ground, you may wanna put something under your knee to help bring the shoulder back down. We don't wanna strain the shoulder. So look over toward the left as you take your, your preferred knee position over toward the right. And just get long in the side waist. Just a nice, deep release. Now, if stacking the knees doesn't feel like much, but wrapping the knees feels like too much, you may want to straighten your bottom leg and just draw the top knee across using your hand to bring it over there. And that might be the right amount of stretch for you. Come on back to center with an inhale and whatever leg position you took on the first side, we're going to do the same on the second. So again, you want your shoulders on the ground as the knees go over toward the left. Look right. Just breathing open. Bring it on back to center. Let the legs go out in front of you about the width of the mat. Let the feet flop open. Let your hands flop open at your sides, palms up. Snuggle the shoulders under. Close the eyes, Shavasana. Take a 
take a couple of deep breaths here. And then just let the breath go. Let it do what it wants. And let everything that's touching the ground get a little heavier. Savasana is where the body begins to integrate what it's learned. So arguably it's the most important part of practice. So in this moment, let it all go. You've released the tension you're holding. And whatever you're carrying, you set it down for a while while you got on the mat. And just focused on your breath and how you were moving. And that's called the joy body where you tap into that place that's always happy, that's always a cork bobbing to the surface. If any tension is working its way back in, mindfully release that and just let it sink. There's no judgment. Our emotions help us deal with life. It is our reaction. We only dub it as an overreaction by judging it. There is no such thing as an overreaction. There is only your reaction. And whatever that is, it's right. There's nothing wrong with it. And the ultimate lesson of yoga is to be where we are and accept that. No matter how uncomfortable we are, we just keep breathing and we pay attention to how we feel and adjust what we're doing based on that. So stay here as long as you like, absorbing the energy that you created. And when you're ready, start to bend the knees, bring the bottoms of the feet to the ground. Bring the hands to the upper thighs. Take a deep breath and then let it go. Draw the knees in toward the chest. Draw the knees in. Give them a squeeze. And then grab the backs of the knees and roll on up to sit. Find a comfortable seat. Bring the backs of the hands to the knees, thumb and forefinger touch. Close the eyes. Then we'll just end with a little gratitude. So thank yourself for stepping onto the mat today, for taking the time. your body for letting you do so and thank your breath for leading the way namaste and aloha <laughs>